News 4 is your local election headquarters, and the organizers behind a state question aimed at letting you decide, Oklahoma, whether Oklahoma's minimum wage should be raised. They're accusing Governor Stitt of trying to kill the measure after he issued an executive order that it won't go to voters until June of 2026. News 4's John Hayes shares the argument they are making and how their opponents plan to make the most of it. John. Kevin Jolene, the only thing both sides seem to agree on is that they had no idea they'd have to campaign for and against this issue for as long as they will here. But when looking back on another controversial state question, things seem to move a lot more quickly. Well, Oklahomans are going to continue to believe that politicians aren't looking out for them and they will have every right to believe that. It doesn't kind of really matter when it's on the ballot, we're going to be opposed to it. For weeks, we've been waiting to see when the proposal, which would gradually raise Oklahoma's minimum wage to $15 an hour, would go to voters. We knew it wouldn't be on the ballot in November since it wasn't certified in time. But supporters were shocked when Governor Stitt set the vote for June 16th of 2026. The governor's reasoning for the wait, that's the date of the next statewide election. He says waiting instead of calling a special election will save nearly two million dollars. Supporters, after raising well over the amount of required signatures to turn in last month, aren't buying it. The statute allowed the governor to set an election date 70 days from the day that we qualified. Uh, instead, he's pushing it another two years. Making things even more complicated the way the question is written. Wage increases are supposed to start in 2025, a full year before voters even vote on it. And this is why Oklahomans in general are just sick and tired of politics as usual. The state chamber has been opposed to the measure from the start. It just it adds uncertainty to business owners that that's unnecessary. And says this time frame could help. We could have a conversation of is there a better way to accomplish it than what the language of this uh, minimum wage question is? And those are conversations that we've always said all along are best served at the legislature and with the legislators. History shows Oklahomans don't need the delay to make up their minds. Uh, in 2022, when the recreational marijuana issue was on a similar timeline, he put it on the ballot in March of 2023. From the time that state question had enough signatures, was given an election date, and voted on seven months compared to a 22-month wait. I think that the governor is trying to figure out how do I, you know, how do I give the advantage to the opposition the most? It wasn't done on our behalf at our request because we didn't know that it was even coming. I did ask the yes side for clarification on how this delay could impact the gradual increases over five years outlined in the question's original wording. A spokesperson told me if voters give it the green light in 2026, Oklahomans will still be on track to making $15 by 2029.